Okay. Got uh, this showed up today. You guys may recognize this as my brother's chipper. I did some uh, work uh, on that shoot a while back and videoed it. Uh, so both the people that watched that video, just kidding, uh, might recognize that. That looked like it held up. But anyway, uh, this is the problem we're dealing with. So these are uh, the bolts. I don't know what they are. Three quarter, five eighths, fine thread uh, that we are trying to fix. And this one right here, uh, apparently, and I don't know if the camera's going to catch this, is bent this way a little bit. And it won't let the knife sit down on there. These are close tolerances. And uh, this thing is over a little. How that happened, I have no idea. Uh, but so that's what we're trying to do is get that stud out of there. I got to be careful. I don't want to drop anything down there and put this one in there. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm thinking I'm going to polish it up a little bit. Take a bigger nut, weld it on there, heat this up a little bit, and then see if I can't twist it out. So uh, I'll keep you posted. All right, I just uh, put some WD-40 in there. I think what I'm going to do is heat this area up a little bit, not too much, and maybe we'll get lucky with a pair of vice grips and turning it out. I got my fire extinguisher handy because these darn chippers laid on fire. Don't want to get it too hot. Want to make sure the chili, I'm just trying to get it opened up a little bit. I want to heat the flat there and not the bolt. I see a crack opening up in there. I'm going to give it a try here.
Ah, uh, this is kind of futile. All right. Hmm. PB blaster fumes are fatal. Maybe that's what my problem is. Okay, I just disconnected the battery. I'm gonna just clean this bolt up a little bit. Okay, my, my thought here is to take just a three-quarter inch bolt. I kind of blew out the threads in there to shine them up, and I cleaned off the top. And I'm just going to put that right there and weld all the way around it. So that's really my game plan. Uh, and I'll bring you back when I weld it. Okay, getting set up here. Um, I don't feel like my shop burning up, so I just took a towel to keep the sparks and junk from going down there and lighting up a pile of sawdust that's laying in the bottom of whatever we're dealing with here. I just want to keep it here where I can pinch out a spark if I need to. And I think we're ready to go. I'm going to run around there. Oh yeah, that thing uh, started uh, burning right away. Bring, bring you right back. Okay, here we go again. I got a less flammable uh, welding shirt this time just to block up all those holes. We're going to try to do this again.
All right, I got a little bit on the bottom of it. Just put a little bit more on top here. I'm like really burning that hot. That's one of the problems. that cool down a minute. Okay. I took a wet towel, cooled that off. I'm gonna try it a little bit and then I might just heat this area back up again. All right. I don't know why, but my one and one sixteenth, uh, three quarter inch drive is a little bit too tight. Cool to the touch. see if we can pull this thing out. Oh yeah, could it be? Ah. What the heck? Stuff is working out. I can see the run out the oval as I'm undoing this so definitely bent I was hoping it was bent and that way the drum is not bent I don't know how how this thing got bent but that little bit I don't know whether it helped or not but uh, that's how you get that bad boy out of there go see if I got some Loctite to run that other one in there I'll bring you back okay got some thread locker on there Hold your ears a minute.
glasses are fogged up. All right, let me bring you back when I get this off. Okay, well, there it is, guys. Uh, it, it went pretty good. I just checked the distance here. Got about the same. So the, they didn't bring the blade over, so I guess uh, they'll have to put that on. But uh, every now and then something works out, right? Anyway. This thing's a monster machine. And uh, I get to get in on, get in for dinner. See you later. Bye bye.